I'm Mariella Gonzalez with your Web Extra. I'm here in Nacogdoches at the SFA campus with Hunter and Thomas. Will they be introducing themselves a little bit and where we are right now, guys? So Thomas, go ahead and tell us your role in this project. Um, oh, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm uh, the SFA Gardens Mast uh, technician. I have been helping the liaison and anything that the construction management team needs, getting all of the supplies, whatever they need, screws, hardware, lumber, all that sort of stuff. And, any little problems, you know, coordinating trees that don't come down, all that sort of fun stuff, but that's what I've been doing. <laughs> yeah. I'm Hunter, I'm the president of the ABC Construction Jacks here on campus. Uh, we're a student organization that just strives to teach kids about how to build build things in their life. Uh, yeah. So, so tell us about this boardwalk and like that, the rebuild, the renovations of it, and um, where this will be leading to. So this is a part of our seven mile trails. This one is in the native plant center connecting Jimmy Hines to the proper backwoods of the native plant center. So it connects to all seven miles of our trails. Um, having this completed would be great. It would be a safety thing and all that. Um, but yeah, um, historically all that stuff, it's, it was an Eagle Scout project and it just started falling apart. So we're excited that it's getting redone and built better. Uh, with better lumber, uh, marine grade treated stuff, and all on piers. So, gotcha. and Hunter, tell us how uh, how many members have been part of y'all's club to help this with this project? So roughly, it's been around anywhere from twenty to fifty, uh, depending on time of year, uh, when people are coming in, when people are coming out. Uh, so yeah, it's been a really fun project for all the guys, just learning about how the different aspects of this project. Now, you guys explained to me, you guys been working on this since April, as you guys mentioned. Tell us about some of the obstacles you guys encountered so far. So, one of the main <laughs> ones we encountered uh, was, so we, we had a bend where it was wrapping around two different trees, and that was one of our bigger obstacles. So, we actually coordinated with Thomas uh, and the arborist here at SFA to drop down two trees, um, and then we actually brought out a company to come drop the other one safely so it didn't damage any of the uh, other trees around it as well. And then we had a lot of coordination with the rain. <clears throat> so we had to lie on our core values at the uh, club, really. So we went to our corporate policy in that aspect. Um, just we're trying to make sure we keep our members safe and everything like that. And Thomas, what does this new boardwalk bring to the community, to the campus and like that? So it is great. Um, you know, we have a ton of walkers and a lot of engagement here. This is uh, has a little pavilion sitting area that uh, has historically been used by our education program. So it's always been part of the community and something that people have always used and enjoyed. And, you know, it ties into a wetland area. And, you know, for SFA, they use this as demonstrations for forestry labs and all that. And, you know, rare plants, spider lily colonies, an endangered orchid that we found at the beginning of this project that we didn't realize was down here. So we've been learning stuff and getting excited while we've been working on this. Um, very thankful because this project, um, you know, comes from SFA Gardens budget. So a lot of this was funded by donor funds. So feels great that the community and the donors have impacted us like this, so we could keep this open and allow people to keep enjoying the outdoors. So. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. We'll have more on this story later tonight at six o'clock. I'm Mariella Gonzalez with your web extra.